कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा साय कृष्ण प्रभु दशरथ प्रभु हरे कृष्ण त्रिवान हरे कृष्ण मताजी आई स्टार्ट विद द क्लास ऐश्वर्य मताजी I'm sorry, <laughs> Chaitra Mata Ji. Shall I start with the yes, class? Yes, yes, Mata Ji. I'm thinking about Aishwarya Mata Ji. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I attend her classes. So. <laughs> Today she will not be I coming. What's a new name? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mata Ji. No, actually, uh, Mata Ji told that today she will come. No, because of heavy rain. Yeah. They- some internet issue in uh, oh. temple uh, oh. so she told she won't be joining so i was just thinking about her <laughs> <laughs> hare krishna hare krishna okay we will all start uh, uh, today's uh, class hare krishna hare krishna every yes uh, so uh, let's start with the pranamana mantras yes mata ji i'm fine but still i'm very happy to hear from you <laughs> नमस्ते सरस्वते देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्री युत पद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवाद हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांथ राधा कांत नमस्ते सप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचा कल्पतरोभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य ृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण so taking the blessings of my shiksha guru namanish tadasa and for the pleasure of shri shri radha govinda we we'll start it, start today's class so today we are meeting for the 17th chapter and that chapter is shad shraddha means feet traya vibhaga yoga types of feet or in general divisions of feet shraddha faith is very important for all of us yeah we need to have faith we need to have faith in krishna then only will you know we can surrender ourselves completely step by step yeah step by step stages by step so here this chapter is going to help us to have such faith and know what is the real faith yeah what type of faith we should have yeah so we know that last six chapters are the very important chapters which give us the knowledge in order to do bhakti bhakti yoga yeah so again uh, such a wonderful chapter for all of us uh, before uh, starting uh, this uh, class yesterday i had to uh, discuss this with you people but uh, i got 5 minutes late to the class so i thought i could not finish it uh, so i didn't discuss it. 
So you see this personality, a very important personality in Guru Parampara for us. Yeah. Anyone has a clue who is this? Any one of you? Have you seen uh, this picture or this person who is sitting in the center? Any idea? I'm just asking by any chance. <laughs> yeah. Any one of you have any idea who is this? I had shown you once uh, a photo, but I had not highlighted on all of them in that photo is one among that full picture what I showed. I'm sorry, this happens to me. I don't see any messages. Ah, yeah. Hare Krishna Rachna Mataji. Anyone knows who is he? Hare Krishna Vishal Prabhu Prapti Mataji. Kirti Mataji, very good. Bhakti Vinoda Thakurji, yes. Bhakti Vinoda Thakurji, yes. So if you remember, I had shown this, uh, you know, Evam Parampara Praptam in Bhagavad Gita, fourth chapter, second shloka, Krishna tells this Bhagavad Gita, this knowledge, yeah, comes to everyone through Parampara, Guru Parampara, isn't it? At that time, I showed you this picture and you see we have uh, from Krishna means we are from Brahma, Krishna Brahma, Madhva, Gaudiya, like that, isn't it? We are in that uh, parampara. And you see the 29th Acharya here, it's Bhakti Vinoda Acharya. Then comes, you know, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And then comes Srila Prabhupada. Okay. So he's in the line of Guru Parampara. Yesterday it was his appearance day. Yesterday it was his appearance day. So Sri Sachidananda Bhakti Vinoda Thakur, he was not a sannyasi. Yeah, he was not a sannyasi. Yeah, still he came under parampara. Yeah, please understand this. It's very, very important. Yeah, he was holding a very high position in the government as district magistrate. Yeah, and he used to take care of his family also. And he was in Krishna consciousness also. And he wrote hundreds of books on Krishna consciousness. Yeah, this is how we can become devotees of the Lord. There is no restriction what your current condition is or situation is. If you have faith to do service to Krishna, you can do it. So that I want, that feeling we have, no, I want to serve Krishna. That is what is very important. So Prabhupada, this is all statement given by Prabhupada in the lecture on his appearance day. At the same time, he served the Supreme Lord in so many ways. That is the beauty of his life. After a full day of government service, he would sleep for us, get up at midnight and write until morning. That was his daily program. What he used to write? He used to write, you know, the commentaries on uh, the scriptures, Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, like that. He was translating things to Beng uh, Bengali in that language so that they can understand. This used to serve Lord for just uh, for our understanding. I mean, a little information about how he used to schedule his day. 8 to 10 p.m. he used to rest. 10 to 4 p.m. he used to write means service to the Lord. 4 to 4.30 a.m. he used to take some rest. 4.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. he used to chant Japa. Then 7 to 7.30 his correspondence work used to do. And 7.30 to 9.30 study all Shastras in that time. 7.30 to 10, again take bath, takes prasadam. 10 to 1, his code duties. 1 to 2, refresh at home. Again 2 to 5, go to work, code duties. 5 to 7, translate Sanskrit shastras to Bengali. And 7 to 8 p.m., bathe, simple prasadam. So this was his timetable. He was a grahastha. He was working. yeah, And he was a Krishna conscious person also. Krishna conscious person also. If one sincerely takes shelter of the holy names of Krishna by chanting Hare Krishna, he will achieve spiritual perfection within the compass of his normal daily activities. It is possible. So it doesn't mean you need to be just a sannyasi to do devotion service to Krishna. Even being a, a samsari or grahastha, you can do it. Yeah, Anyone can become guru. 
there is no restriction anyone can become guru shila prabhat says anyone can become guru only thing is he should have the knowledge only thing he should know the absolute truth and he is one of the best example and his fourth son bhakti siddhanta saraswati takur is guru maharaj of our shila prabhupad yeah so the same parampara he also comes up. and today is another very auspicious day wherein uh, in uh, the guru parampara when we come and in escon gaudiya vaishnava sampradaya what we do is whenever uh, a great soul appears and disappears we celebrate okay celebrate in the sense we remember them we try to follow their footsteps yeah we take their blessings that is what happens so this today is disappearance day of haridas takur today okay so haridas takur anyone remembers where did i discuss about haridas takur we already discussed this few days back any idea haridas takur yes vijay kumari mata ji nama acharya i gave you a small story how we should you know keep our mind fixed on the lord and gave an example of this person haridas takur namacharya yeah if you don't remember see i told you no he was born as a muslim i mean he was born in a muslim family haridas takur but he became a disciple of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu whose main aim is to have sankirtan hari krishna maha mantra to everyone he was telling to chant lord's name and dance sankirtana yeah he became a disciple of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and he surrendered to krishna to that extent when the muslim uh, government sent a prostitute he was not disturbed who haridas takur instead that prostitute she herself became a devotee of shri krishna because she heard that soulful chanting of hari krishna maha mantra by the exalted devotee he is the greatest devotee of the lord that is why whenever you cannot concentrate on chanting when you are chanting and you are not able to chant properly starting if you feel it is very difficult here when prabhupad you can play the audio you see, you get it in audio, uh, youtube you have uh, uh, vani uh, prabhupad vani there is one website you can download the audios or you just give a uh, prabhupad chanting you get uh, freely in iskon desire tree yeah there all you can download it you can just hear it you know it, it cleanses our heart and mind and you can chant attentively yeah and by practice also you can become perfect so chaitanya mahaprabhu named him as acharya of holy name that is why he is called namacharya namacharya yeah his departure uh, uh, is given uh, completely in uh, chaitanya uh, i mean when he departed what happened chaitanya mahaprabhu he himself carried him okay he himself uh, carried him you can uh, see here this is chaitanya mahaprabhu he is carrying haridas takur yeah to finish the final rites yeah that is how he was celebrated and the description about all those things you can see uh, in uh, antya leela of shri chaitanya charitamrita uh, written by kavi raja goswami yeah so prabhupada tells us uh, he always refers us uh, telling you can chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare yeah but what you should do you must hear all 32 syllables means you need to hear it yeah you need not scream or shout just you know you have to hear what you are saying that much is enough so because you cannot control your mind your mind will be having millions of thoughts when you are doing anything and when you are doing chanting you can feel them they become very significant so the only way to control our mind and try to focus on what we are doing is you need to hear whatever you are chanting 
so all the 32 syllables hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so you pronounce it properly and you hear them whatever you chant you should hear shravanam kirtanam both you are doing together <laughs> then for sure very fast we will get the taste of hari nam and we can easily sit and do for two hours three hours aridas thakur was chanting fast because he is highly concentrated his mind is no more you know interest in the material world it was fixed on shri hari yeah so he was to chant very fast he was chanting 33000 names yeah he was chanting 16 hours of japa in a day 16 hours he was chanting that is why he got the name namacharya namacharya so today is the disappearance day of haridas thakur namacharya yes so why do we discuss all these things is they are the best you know devotees of the lord they are the one who help us like yes we can also do like that we can also be like them yeah we can also follow in their footsteps krishna has told arjuna in the second chapter right when uh, arjuna said yeah what will happen varna shankara will happen if i kill all the people here who are elderly people who are going to guide the younger generation of that family and tradition i kill them and what happens to the younger generation they might follow the wrong path adharma they might follow isn't it what was the answer given by krishna Ah, yes, Mataji. Yes, Vijay Kumar Mataji. Yeah. 333,000. Yes. I told you 33. I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, okay. Hare Krishna. Can anyone tell me what is the answer from Krishna for this question of Arjuna? Varna Shankara. What did he answer for it? What was Krishna's answer? any idea so soon you forgot <laughs> he asked some how many questions chapter 1 we listed all that no janardana prabhu no no varna shankara the family tradition for that question for that reason uh, arjuna said i will not fight for that what did krishna tell what was his answer no vijay kumari mataji i showed a duck and then small baby ducks back there was one picture also i just gave you a hint 48 okay you people think okay we discussed it for family tradition what is the answer shri krishna gave yeah and remember i'll give you another clue also krishna told uh, when i come down or wherever i am still i am doing my duty yeah so this is two clues okay tell me what was krishna's answer and that will tell you why we discuss about the life of great acharyas why we need to take example of them hare krishna so we will start with the today's chapter chapter number 17 arjuna will inquire about unauthorized worship yes rachana mata ji very good hari bol arjuna needs to set example by following dharma very good we should be an example shreshtas whatever the person who is shrestha does the people will follow very good rachana mata ji very good that is why these great acharyas these are the great acharyas we all have to follow their footsteps they were like us on this material world yeah and they are also having a body like us yes they have mind they have senses like us but you when they can do i can't we do we take inspiration of so many things for material things yeah which are not permanent but these great acharyas yeah the devotees of the lord they give us 
you know, and a better example. They are my role model to dedicate our life to serve Shri Krishna. Yes, Hare Krishna. Yeah. So then uh, Lord Krishna answers the three modes uh, to determine one's faith and worship. Foods in three modes. Yeah, I told you that chapter came at last. Yeah, sacrifices in three modes. Yeah, then uh, kinds of three kinds of austerities. Uh, austerity in three modes. Uh, charity in three modes. Uh, and finally, the very important one, home tat sat. Okay, that is will be discussed here. Uh, Mataji, please. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Arjuna Vacha. Risha Sravidimut. Hare Krishna. Arjuna said, Ho oh Krishna, what is the situation of one who does not follow the principles of scripture but worships according to his own imagination? Is he in goodness, in passion, or in ignorance? So we have scriptures and they have a definite pattern or a procedure, yeah, some sequences for any activity, anything like that. For example, you need to worship God. There is a procedure. They have written the procedure on some basis, which is going to help us to achieve the best of that activity. Yeah, it's very simple. But nowadays, there are people that started telling their own procedures. They have their own principles, whichever is favoring the people. Like very simple example. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells us not to desire. And you people already have experienced in first class, there will be too many people. In the second class, when you see that Krishna told, don't desire, do all the work only for my sake. They will all go off. Okay. I think, oh no, this is not good. People are leaving my class. I'll do one thing. I will not tell that part to leave the desire itself. Yeah, I'll control myself. I'll start my own principle. See, see, do everything, do properly. That's all. Yeah, that is only important. You do however you want. I mean, we are pleasing you, we are comforting you. And whatever is possible from my side, I'll try to do as much as to keep people around me safe and clean or to my situation, how things are going. Means, if someone does anything according to their imagination, not actually what is given in the scriptures, in what kind of mood they are. In these three modes, that is goodness, passion and ignorance, Krishna, what mode they are. Yeah, so that is why you see there are so many kinds of, you know, uh, religion or there are some, you know, school of thoughts, institutions, there are so many, they have their, uh, so many symbols, they have their own principles, they believe things, they don't believe things, yeah, these are happening around us, it's very, very common, yes, Mataji. The Supreme Lord said, According to the modes of nature acquired by the embodied soul, one's faith can be of three kinds, goodness, passion or ignorance. So, whoever is in Sattva Guna, we already know the three Gunas, isn't it? Sattva Guna, Raja Guna, Tamo Guna. Whoever is in Sattva Guna and they, you know, seek knowledge, Jnana. Yeah. Once they get Jnana, they will follow the path of Mukti. Mukti means getting rid of this material existence. And they will reach the state of Brahman. So the basis for reaching Brahman is Jnana. So they are called as Jnanis. And the people who are in Rajoguna, Rajas, for them, the way of reaching the desired condition or the goal is Karma. They want to do work. So when they're doing Karma, what they expect? Karma. Karma means they want, they desire them, some things. So they do good things. 
and they expect good to come back to them. Where do they go? They go to Swargalokas. Yeah, people who are desiring, they might do bad karma also and they can go to hellish planets also, okay? But when you do karma, you get two things depending on whether you're doing a good work or a bad work, isn't it? If you do good work, you will go to Swargaloka. So people who do karma for the sake of karma, they're called as kamis, okay? But what about the bhaktas? They are not in just Sattva Guna. After Sattva Guna, they have to transcend the three modes. They should cross these three modes which are of material nature. They will be in Shuddha Sattva Guna. The base for them is Bhakti. You see the difference? For people in Sattva Guna, Jnana is the base. Rajas Guna, their Karma is the base. And for Sattva, Shuddha Sattva Guna people, Bhakti is their base. Once they get bhakti and they keep on doing devotional service, they'll get prema, the love for Sri Krishna. Where they will reach? Krishna's abode. What they will get? Krishna himself. Okay? Krishna himself. According to one's existence, under the various modes of nature, one evolves a particular kind of faith. The living being is said to be of a particular faith according to the modes he has acquired. Okay. So this shloka, yes, Mataji. Yajanti Satvika Devan, Yajarakshanti Rajasaha, Tretan Bhutaganam Shani, Yajanti Tamasajanaha. Hare Krishna. Men in the mode of goodness worship the demigods. Satvika Devan. Men in the mode of goodness worship the demigods. Those in the mode of passion worship the demons. Okay? Demons. One in the mode of ignorance worships ghosts and spirits. Now my question is, one who is in the mode of Shuddha Sattva Guna, whom they will worship? Whom they will worship? Hare Krishna. That's all. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right answer. If you remember, one of the uh, one of you asked me before, yeah, Mataji, then whom should we worship? I told, please wait, please wait. We'll come to the end. We'll come to the end. Yeah, because if I say that, why she is telling Krishna we should worship? You know, you might have questioned me and you would have not attended the class, isn't it? So please understand, Krishna has clearly given us here. People who are in mode of goodness, they worship demigods. So what does it mean? We'll be in the material world itself. If you want to stay in material world, yes, you can. You can worship the demigods. It's not at all wrong. You respect them. You worship them. It's not wrong. But if you want to transcend the material world, then you have to worship Sri Krishna. Yes? Yes, Rajoguna, Rajoguna, demons, because very simple. Rajoguna, people want to fulfill the desires. Yeah, they want to fulfill their desire. Yes, Mataji, Shiva is also demigod. Hare Krishna, Brahma Shiva is demigod. Hare Krishna, demons means they want, you know, some desires to be fulfilled. They have humans as their gods. They worship humans as their own god. They worship ancestors. Yeah, so like this. They are considered in different modes. Those who undergo severe austerities and penances, not recommended in the scriptures, performing them out of pride, egotism, lust and attachment, who are impelled by passion and who torture their bodily organs, as well as the super soul dwelling within, are known to be as demons. So just one, you asked me a question, who are demons? Please hear, these people are demons and people who worship demons are in Rajoguna. Who are these demons? They do things only for their pride, yeah, which has not been given in any kind of scriptures. Yeah, it is not recommended. It's not recommended. They do for pride, ego. They have the lust, they have an attachment. You see, Ravana, he wanted... He wanted to, 
yeah he wanted uh, mm, you have not seen uh, people worshiping demon mataji people worshiped ravana yeah hiranyakashipu said everyone should worship me all the shlokas were converted to hiranyakashipu aya namaha like that isn't it yes yeah you we don't consider them as demons huh? <laughs> they are all demons mata ji yes so what is happening here is uh, these people out of lust and attachment uh, yeah they gain power they gain power if you, if you see uh, there are so many uh, you know uh, stories uh, uh, from our past uh, wherein the demons uh, they went through austerities and severe penances and uh, they asked brahma lord shiva yeah the demigods to come yeah and give them the boon what they want yeah one or two example yeah they just torture their body by torturing their body they are in turn torturing the super soul which is in the, within their body yeah and they gain power and they take into control of all the three worlds they have fought on the you know swarga loka they have taken uh, the indra's position also we have heard it isn't it you have read so many of the stories which has happened in our past it's all our history isn't it that is how people are in terms of what they worship now 8 to 10 very very important foots in the mode of goodness increase the duration of life purify one's existence and give strength health happiness and satisfaction satisfaction such nourishing foods are sweet juicy fattening and palatable so you know this is called satvik food food of goodness mode of goodness foods that are too bitter too sour salty pungent dry and hot are liked by people in mode of passion such food cause pain distress and disease yeah i'm sorry the fruits and these things are not okay this one the one which is burning which is very hot spicy yeah then comes the last type of food the food cooked more than 3 hours before been eaten which is tasteless stale putrid decomposed and unclean as food liked by the people in the mode of ignorance yeah so it's been recommended the food which has been cooked yeah you should eat it immediately or at least 3 hours before yeah after that it is not considered fit for eating so depending on this in what mode you should serve krishna is very very important yeah so krishna is not he doesn't come in control of any of this modes is above that mode is is not controlled he is controlling everything yeah so for that reason whatever we eat the food that food should be offered to shri krishna first yeah shri krishna first then only if we eat that becomes prasad yeah it becomes transcendental so the devotees of lord shri krishna what they do whatever they eat they first offer to shri krishna krishna asked us patram pushpam phalam toyam give anything any of it even little water also fine any of this i'll accept with love but we should give it with lot of love he'll surely accept so what we do devotees do we do different types of sacrifices like hearing about him uh, hearing about him chanting his names uh, remembering him by doing this we are trying to protect ourselves from all kind of sinful reactions so please see here you worship him you're cleaning you think about him and clean you're cutting vegetables you're cooking or when you're eating you're washing whatever activities you do in your life you think about them and do similarly food is a very important part of our life we all eat isn't it it's very important part of our life so we need to offer the food which is prescribed in the shastra that should be given to the lord i like this food i'll give to krishna this no we should offer the food which is prescribed by in the shastras that should be given to the lord 
yeah so you cannot give a, a ratsik food you can't give tamsik food satvik food is fine but you know if you want to transcendent this three modes of material uh, three modes of uh, this material world you need to be in shuddha sattva guna yeah so that is the reason you offer so either you can do a simple uh, meals or you can offer in any kind of fruits whichever is available yeah that is how yes mata ji but everything should uh, yes prabhu ji chilli is allowed but everything in limit yeah so how to offer the food to the lord there is a procedure for that if you like we'll share it with you or else in any of the iskon book it is available okay if you want you can let us know i'll share it with you and when you take the food also we chant the mantras like mahaprasad this is very simple one mahaprasad govinde nama brahmani vaishnave swalp punya vatan rajan vishwaso naiva jayate yes we will share it with you so okay for those with little pious credit faith in mahaprasadam shri govinda the holy name and the vaishnavas never arises so we pray because we are eating the you know the remnants what lord has taken lord is eating you should see actually to tell truth uh, including me you know most of us get really attracted to krishna because of his prasadam i was staying 20 kilometers away from uh, uh, eskon uh, temple in mangalore when i was doing my phd i used to travel 20 kilometers to and from is 40 kilometers i used to come uh, i used to leave my hostel food even hostel food was good it's not like it was not good most of the hotel hostels don't have good food but my hostel had good food but you will not get prasadam there no i used to come from there have food then go back and do my research work it was like that even if it is night like late also i used to eat and go you should taste the prasadam really you should taste the prasadam krishna prasadam however you do it if you chant hari krishna mahamantra and with faith you cook the food and offer to shri krishna i i don't know i don't know how to describe it none of the other foods have given me that taste i am a foodie person like seeing me only you people can understand i am a foodie person i have eaten all kind of food i was a non vegetarian also before yeah like pure non vegetarian i was not just non veg pure non vegetarian but seriously the food the taste the prasadam gives no words to describe it yeah you just taste it you should show your tongue you know the higher taste then it will not ask for the lower taste okay so this is also one of the uh, prayer very important prayer uh, before having the prasadam okay yeah? if you are like uh, if you desire we will share this with you people yes mata ji hey krishna hari krishna afala tanshi dil yasya vedi deshto ya ejyate yashtavyam eveti manaha ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ್ಯೂಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ rules and with no expectation of reward is of the nature of goodness so when you do sacrifice as your duty i am doing for kalyuga what is the yagna for the kalyuga what is the yagna prescribed <laughs> any idea yes japa yagna so it is our du- duty we are in kalyuga our duty is to do japa yagna okay it's not like someone is telling i'm doing for you people i'm doing for them no it's our duty we are in kalyuga we need to do it where it is given it is given in the scriptures we are following the scriptures itself for kalyuga this is what is the yagna to be done and we follow the rules means you should chant this much hari krishna maha mantra you should chant on the tulsi beads uh, keeping the count of 108 yeah you should chant in the morning you should concentrate when you are chanting yeah you should concentrate on what you are telling yeah you should have faith 
when you're chanting. These are all rules we need to follow. And with no expectation, Krishna, I'm chanting now. Till now, I did so many of sins. See, whenever I chant one round, start burning it. You know, start burning all my sins. You should not ask for reward. You should do it as your duty without expecting the reward. So this is the mood of goodness. But what Lord's devotee do? They chant to please Krishna. For sure, if you're taking God's name, it is going to burn your sins. It's nothing that you're not, the, the sins are not going to be burnt. For sure, it is going to be burnt. But we chant only to please Sri Krishna. Nothing else. Like you call your mother's name, no, with love. Ma, mama, mommy, what are you doing? Ma, like that, you know, like that. We call Krishna's name like a small little baby. Krishna, please give me a chance to serve you. Krishna, serve you. With that love you're chanting. You're calling Krishna with that love. If you see uh, uh, in the temple, whenever they're chanting Hare Krishna, they raise both of their hands like, you know, like baby does, pick me up. Dad, please pick me up. You know, it's like that. Please give me a chance to serve you. I want to serve you, Krishna. You know, that is how we need to do the yajna. But that sacrifice performed for some material end or benefit or performed ostentatiously out of pride is of nature of passion. O oh, chief of Bharatas. So you're chanting so that you get rid of your sense. Yeah. Your chanting tell show to show people that see, I'm also chanting, I'm very cool. Yeah. And you chant so many rounds and you tell everyone, see, I chanted for so many rounds. And you have a pride of chanting. Yeah. And you think you're chanting for Krishna, then it is wrong. You are in nature of passion. Passion is. Rajoguna, you're expecting something from the Yajna. Finally, and that sacrifice performed in defiance of scriptural injunctions in which no spiritual food is distributed, no hymns are chanted, no remunerations are made to the priest and which is faithless. That sacrifice is of the nature of ignorance. Nothing is followed. It is not mentioned in our scripture. Yeah. Nowhere, whenever you do any kind of yagna, there should be food offered to the Lord and that food should be distributed to the people. Yeah. Whoever comes and whoever performs the yagna, you should give them remuneration. You know, you should pay them for their duty. If nothing like that is done, there is no hymns or chanting done, then that yagna is not considered as a yagna at all. It's a sacrifice which comes because of ignorance. Can anyone tell me who is this fellow who is trying to cut his head in front of Lord Shriva? Uh, I'll give you one small clue. His name starts with the uh, letter B. <laughs> B. Very good, uh, Vijay Kumari Mataji. Bhasmasura. Yes, Nita Mataji. Bhasmasura. You know, he was uh, meditating on Lord Shiva. He was meditating on Lord Shiva and uh, Lord Shiva did not uh, come. Okay. He then took his knife and he started to cut his, uh, like, you know, he was about to cut his neck, telling, I'll offer my neck only, I mean, head only to you. Uh, so then you will come. So Lord will come and he will tell, okay, what do you want? I am happy by your, uh, you know, sacrifices, what you have done till now. He'll tell whomever I touch, whomever I touch, they should turn into ashes, basma. Okay. So Lord Shiva said, fine. Demons, how much ever we think we are intelligent, the demigods are more intelligent and who is seeing everyone supreme personality of god had is you can't even think how much he intelligent is because we don't have so much of power to measure his intelligence isn't it so what happened it happened as such that he himself unknowingly kept his hand on his own head and he was converted into ashes that is ignorance yeah thus i know uh, thomas uh, uh, good so Please do a sacrifice 
which is prescribed in the shastras there is a definitive you know instructions to be followed and done in a right way if not they are not going to give us anything yeah yes mata ji are बॉडी कॉन्सेस इन दस वर्षिप ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड the brahmanas the spiritual master and superiors like the father and mother cleanliness simplicity celibacy and non violence are also austerities of the body yeah what is austerity worshiping the lord yeah brahmanas spiritual master superiors so you should worship people who are superior to us you need to worship like father mother spiritual master brahmanas being clean is also austerity being simple is also austerity celibacy means uh, we are all grahastha how can we follow celibacy celibacy it's very simple whenever you want to have a child then only we'll have sexual intercourse if not we are going to keep our body for the service of the lord that is called celibacy and non violence yeah we discussed about non violence yesterday austerity of speech so we discussed about body see austerity of body now it is austerity of speech yes mata ji anadvega karam vakyam satyam priya hitam chayad swadhyaya vyasam उच्यूथली regularly for a best example is maharaj yudhishthir he is also called as dharmaraya he never lied isn't it he was good in all the ways he was good he used to talk in a way which is beneficial to all of them he was not speaking something which was offending people isn't it if he does even little wrong he has to go through things for that is the best example for us to follow yeah so this is how we can do austerity in speech and serenity simplicity gravity self control and purity of thought these things are the austerities of the mind from the body from the speech from the mind how can we do austerities we didn't know this part isn't it we thought austerity means go somewhere sit down and for 10 years 20 years stay there and meditate on some mantra and call some god and get work but here you see krishna is so beautifully telling every day every second using this body mind and soul you can serve the lord so through mind serenity simplicity gravity self control just now mata ji had put <laughs> self control yeah and purity of thoughts are the austerities of mind if you see her this is one beautiful picture wherein these ladies are taking bath and this is vyasadev father of sukamuni sukamuni he is like complete uh, brahmachari he never uh, wears any clothes on his body and when he passes uh, in front of these ladies who are taking bath they are not you know shy they don't bother because they know that he is not interested he doesn't see us yeah but when vyasadev comes here he, vyasadev is a samsari he has been married so when he, these ladies see vyasadev coming at that place they'll try to cover their body yes so it's like 
if you see sukamuni he could control everything he is not disturbed by anything whatever is there his mind is fixed on shri krishna he is not disturbed by any beauty he is not disturbed by anything which is attracting in the material world because he is attracted by krishna for example if you see radha krishna deities the beautiful alankara they do every day for radha and krishna i have not seen anyone so beautiful until now in my until now in my life i really don't know how beautiful they look how can it happen they are just statues we think they are just statue they are putting some you know ornaments that is also not gold it's like you no know, how how it is possible the eyes when they see that beauty they cannot see anything and say beautiful it's such a beautiful thing yeah so self control when you fix your mind senses on krishna other things cannot please you they cannot disturb you so self control is very very important that is what mind's activity is isn't it if you don't control your senses by your mind then how can you control yourself that is soul you can't yes so austerity is in the mind is self control very important yes mata ji सुप्रीम इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ गुडनेस yeah so what do the men do if you follow this three fold austerity means from body speech and mind yeah for pleasing the supreme not for your benefit then they are in mode of goodness so what do we do we use a body for worshiping god yeah you saw that picture dandavat pranam for men they do dandavat pranam ladies don't do dandavat pranam and uh, we worship our gurus yeah we worship our parents yes yeah and uh, we try to speak truth we chant mantras we read shastras yes then what else we do we control self control means we are doing austerities through mind so we use our body for best thing like vrindavana parikrama we see things where krishna was there govardhana parikrama we pass through that places yeah mayapur parikrama mayapur is uh, where we have uh, our main headquarters yeah of iskon yeah navadweep and uh, we have uh, just a second uh, we have uh, one of the very important information to share with you people i think you already might have uh, seen that <coughs> you might have already seen that in uh, your whatsapp group yeah so kartik month just yesterday i told you about kartik month kartik month is very very auspicious yeah we also call it as damodara month so in the kartik month if you just offer a little ghee lamp to krishna small cotton wig and little ghee in that and you just uh, you know do aarti for krishna that will burn the sins of your past lives like millions of millions of past lives sins yeah into ashes sir yeah so usually this is the very very holy time wherein the devotees of the lord go to the places like vrindavan mayapur and they do parikrama yeah so on that occasion this every year iskon mangalore also organizes it anyone wishes to join this group please uh, make use of this opportunity november 3rd to 8th this mayapur yatra is going to uh, you know happen means it's been scheduled and kartik month you will have a if people can see yeah oh nita mata ji is going wonderful wonderful yeah mayapur is such a beautiful place yeah such a beautiful place you have to be there to experience uh, yeah so uh, you all can go there yeah details all will be shared with you there shila prabhupad's uh, samadhi is there yeah we can 
have a look at the samadhi and these are the beautiful deities of uh, radha and krishna yeah they are like you know human height size yeah and they are very beautiful i don't have any words to describe yeah uh, and also pancha tatva this is chaitanya mahaprabhu that's one of the abhishekam uh, photos chaitanya mahaprabhu <laughs> and his associates i'm sorry and uh, this is the new temple uh, if you remember i told uh, henry fraud yeah his uh, son uh, is the devotee of the lord he is the head of this uh, temple it's the largest temple the new temple of vedic planetarium okay uh, so you can all go there it is almost complete and narasimha temple i mean narasimha dev's temple has been almost done they are inaugurating it uh, might be you will get a chance to see there it's very beautifully done he is amrish prabhu right now uh, he is uh, initiated and he is serving there so you all can go and check the new temple also then islands it's called navadvip mayapur is called navadvip so all the nine islands they will take you people and show what is important there yeah and uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu's birth place is there yeah that is where chaitanya mahaprabhu took birth so all about it i'm so sorry then uh, shri vasanga and shri chaitanya math yes jagannath uh, temple is there in uh, rajpur so this is the last batch you can see our guru uh, namanishta das is here these are all the devotees from last batch uh, who attended uh, online classes they all joined there yes and uh, you have uh, dameshwar mahaprabhu uh, temple then samadhi and bhajan kutir of jagannath das baba ji you will come to know about them and here bhakti vinod takur's residence today i just told you about bhakti vinod takur no you can see his uh, residence also there yeah everything is maintained as such you can also see bhakti siddhanta prabhu's uh, study room also yeah you can see all those they have been maintained very nicely yeah so then hari hara kshetra hari hara both together yeah you can see that kshetra and a very beautiful you can go for ganga puja and ganga snan and enjoy this with the devotees yeah it's like uh, if you ask anyone who don't know krishna what is krishna they will say he is some person he was there he did something in but but if you ask a devotee who is krishna is they will not leave even single point yeah they will describe it so nicely about krishna that you will fall in love with it so when you go to such kind of holy places uh, you should go with the devotees because they know you know they know what is that place what is that place so important why you should be there when I mean, you will feel blessed to be at every place just simply and going and coming it will be like a normal trip what is there nothing is there you feel like that yeah but when you go with the devotees you will know the past times behind it you know the value of that place you will be knowing what you should do what you should not do okay so this is the pictures of the last yatra where lot of devotees had joined these are all the pictures of the last uh, visitor yeah i'm sorry i went back yeah so please uh, join the group if you are interested the details are shared in the whatsapp group if anyone has not uh, got it please let us know we'll again share it yeah this is the complete ca campus of uh, new uh, temple this is top and this is mayapur iskon headquarters quarter okay the complete campus so you all can visit there and have a beautiful time unfortunately i'll not be able to join your people i am so unfortunate in many times i mean in many cases yeah i'm so sorry about it but i wish some other day i will join that group yeah. hare krishna yes sir so those uh, ostentatious penances and austerities which are performed in order to gain respect honor and reverence are said to be in the mode of passion they are neither stable nor permanent so you do whatever you do from the body speech and mind please don't expect anything that's it yeah if you expect then you fall into the lower modes 
is the mode of passion. And those penances and austerities which are performed foolishly by means of obstinate self-torture or to destroy or injure others are said to be in the mode of ignorance your you know if someone is hurting you telling give me this give me this give me this i will not eat food i will not sleep i will cut i will jump <laughs> you know you will feel sad then it means that you are making gods also to feel like that for you isn't it? it's like you're torturing you don't have a knowledge you don't know how to approach a person how to approach the lord why you're doing it because you're foolish isn't it? So you need to know how to approach the gods. So in whatever way you like, however you like, if you do any of the penances and austerities, then it is considered to be done in the mode of ignorance. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Dhatavyam iti yadhyanam diyate no kusarane देश काले च पात्रे च तद्धामं सात्विकं स्मृतं हरे हरे कृष्ण then come to comes to the very important part shri krishna is telling us about the gift yeah means very simple charity he is going to talk about charity please listen to it very carefully that gift which is given out of duty at the proper proper time and place to a worthy person and without expectation of return is considered to be charity in the mode of goodness. Yeah. So when do you say you're actually doing charity? You're doing charity when you give something, someone considering that as your duty. For example, I'm earning so much of money. I have money. I have sufficient to take care of my daily needs. Yeah. A little amount to some emergency, yeah? And the extra what I have, I should give it in charity, telling that Krishna has given me so much of knowledge. She, Krishna has given me such kind of a situation wherein I am able to earn more. In that some amount, some fraction, I am giving to someone. Because I am earning more, I am giving it to someone. It's my duty. If a person is not earning more and you expect him to give money or give charity, then it's wrong because he is not able to meet his ends. But when you have and you want to give, yeah, it means that it's your duty you have more. Yeah, if someone is drowning in water, what do you do? A person standing out should help him because it's your duty. You're out. You have hands in, you know, you have two hands. Yeah, you can give one hand and pull. Isn't it? Similarly, when you have something extra, it need not be money. You have extra strength in your body. Yeah. You have knowledge in you. You can give it in charity. How? Considering as it as your duty. And you should do it at a proper time and place. And very important to a worthy person. Okay, I have money. Mataji told if you have excess, then you should donate. Okay. Okay, you see someone and give money. No. If you give money to such person who is not worthy, you will get the sin of helping a person who was not worth about it. Yeah, getting it. So please be very careful to whom you do the charity. That is also important. The knowledge you okay? give. For example, you see uh, Karna. What did he do? He gave himself, isn't it? He wanted to help his friend. But did he do right thing by helping his friend? Why did he help Dronach uh, sorry, Duryodhana? Why did he help Duryodhana? Any idea? Why he helped Duryodhana? He gave everything to Duryodhana. He told, my life is your stake. What is the reason? <laughs> Out of gratitude, why Vijay Kumar, Vijay Kumar Mataji? He was made king by Duryodhana. Yes, Ambika Mataji. The reason is no one gave him the respect. Duryodhana alone gave him the respect what he deserves. Only for that reason, 
even though Duryodhana was doing a dharma, Karna gave his life itself. Take my life. But what was the end? Not the right thing, isn't it? So what you give to someone is very, very important. You should see whether that person is worthy enough to take it. If not, you are going to take the results of it. That's very important. Please note it. Okay. And uh, see, without expectation, whatever we do, we should not expect. I have told you before also, again, I'm repeating, whenever we do some charity, I don't know, this comes into most of our mind. We'll think that, okay, today I'm helping someone. You might give some 10 rupees or you might give some water or food for someone. And you'll think that tomorrow someone will help us. Or someone might help our kid. I am doing today good for them. Tomorrow they might do. Means you are expecting that I am doing today. Someone should do for me or my family tomorrow. That's not right. Today you have excess which you can give. Who is really in need. Give it without expecting anything. That kind of charity is called mode of goodness. Mode of goodness. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so that is what uh, you can see uh, Krishna when he was born. Avasudeva gave in, Nanda Maharaj gave in charity all, whatever he had, you know, uh, people in this uh, hall, who, in the village, whoever came to see Krishna, he gave everything in charity because he had it. And it is the time to share with everyone who are in need. Yeah, they celebrated with such happiness. Whatever they required, he gave us charity without expecting anything back. That is mode of goodness. Yes, but please see this charity. Charity performed with the expectation of some return, which we can see very often nowadays. And this picture speaks completely uh, what is today's uh, culture. Or with the desire for fruitive results or in grudging mood is said to be charity in mode of passion. Need not explain it. It's very clear. Yes. And charity performed at an improper place and time and given to unworthy persons without respect and with contempt in charity is the mode of ignorance. Help. I need money for weed. It's like, help, I need money for smoking. I need money for drinking. Yes, money for drinking. If you give all the sins, you will accumulate. You know, the people who are in mode of ignorance, they go to hellish planet. Yes, so please be very, very careful. Whatever it could be, tan man dan, the knowledge what you have, the money what you have, the power, your energy what you give from your body. Okay? Please see to that you do it in a right way for the right purpose and to the person who deserves at the right time and a right place. That is why uh, most of the uh, festivals what we have, no, yeah, on that day people will do a lot of charities because it's the right time and they do charities to the temple, yeah, for the gurus and for education yeah these things and all are done on those days why because you should give to the person who deserves it for the right cause and only you will be doing in the proper mode if not you will be doing it in the mode of ignorance and the last part we are going to discuss is om tat sat okay most of you would have heard about it from the beginning of the creation the three syllables om tat sat have been used to indicate the supreme absolute truth, Brahman. They were uttered by a Brahmas, a Brahmanas while chanting Vedic hymns and during sacrifices for the satisfaction of supreme. If you remember when Krishna was telling about this, telling about its, any idea? Somewhere Krishna said in the syllabus, I am Om. You remember we discussed that point? Yeah, which chapter? Any idea? Can you put up in the chat window? Hare Krishna. Yes, Vibhuti Yoga. He told in the syllabus, I am the Om. So, Om means you're starting with Sri Krishna himself. Om. Yeah, for the satisfaction of Supreme. So, you can see here. 
Thus, the transcendentalist undertakes sacrifices, charities, and penances, beginning always with Om to attend the Supreme. Om is Krishna. Krishna tells, I am Om. Yeah, I am the Sulabhi. Om. So, it is placed at the beginning of all Vedic hymns to indicate the Supreme goal. So, we all have to reach Him. He is our goal. That is why all the mantras everywhere you have Om first. Yes. One should perform sacrifice, penance and charity with word Tat. You should start with Om. Yeah. Yeah. And you should perform with word Tat. The purpose of such transcendental activities is to get free from the material entanglement. So what is Tat in Chandogaya Upanishad? Tatvam Asi. Tat means describes detached work for the sake of liberation. So you should perform all the sacrifices, penances and charity thinking that it is for serving to the Lord. So when you are serving to the Lord, what happens? You won't get any packages and you will not be attached to this material world. What you will get? Liberation from this material world. Okay. These activities done with disregard for the material results. You are not doing anything for material results. That is why when you are performing these things, we do it with the word Tat. Okay? Tat. The absolute truth is the objective of devotional service and it is indicated by the word Sat. The objective of devotional service is what? Sat. The absolute truth. That is Sat. These works of sacrifices, of penance and of charity, true to the absolute nature, are performed to please the Supreme Person, O Son of Prata. Yeah. So Sat Eva Samya. Sat means eternal. Activities done for the service of Lord. Yeah. So Tat means what? You are doing activities without expecting any results. Material rewards. Yeah. Sat means all the activities you are doing for Sri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. Activities done for the service of the Lord reveal the true spiritual nature. In such activity, the performer of actions becomes eternal. The activities are aimed at the eternal and the benefits of the activities are eternal. Very simple. Sat means eternal. That is why you can see people telling Om Tat Sat. Yes, Mataji, the last Hare is Shloka. Ashradhaya Hutam Tattam Tapasattam Kritam Chayat Asad Ityuchyate Pata Najata Pratya Nohiha Hare Krishna. But sacrifices, austerities, and charities performed without faith. Please remember, without faith in the Supreme are non-permanent. Having faith and doing is incomplete. Having faith in Supreme and doing is complete. Anything you do, sacrifice, austerity and charity. So Krishna described you all the three kinds of it. Yeah, all the three kinds of sacrifices, austerities through body, speech and mind, different types of charities. Sir. But if you do them also, you are doing charity as prescribed in Sattva Guna only. But you don't have faith in Sri Krishna. You don't have faith and you do it. It's non-permanent. O oh, son of Prita, regardless of whatever rites are performed, whatever you do without faith in Krishna, if you do, non-permanent. They are called Asat and are useless both in this life and the next. Both in this life and the next. Yes, so you need to have faith in Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna himself. No faith. You do everything. They have no, you know, use. Yeah, they have no use in this life or next life also. They're just a waste. Even though you can just, you know, give some person, 
even one rupee also believe that krishna has given me so much of money this person deserves to get at least one rupee let me give this one rupee krishna i am giving for you feel it and give your giving for krishna don't think i have money and i am giving to someone who is so much needy he doesn't even have one rupee i'll take and you go and tell someone i gave one rupee yeah and you do some yagna and you tell people i do yagna you know it cost around 3 lakhs 2 lakhs or 50000 i did you don't have faith in krishna krishna i did if you go for any yagna so also you sit in any of the pujas no at last they will tell krishna arpanamastu if you had observed it yeah so please everything you do please have faith in shri krishna and do then only it will reach him yeah then only it is considered as useful useful if not it is useless so faith is very very important so how to have faith and do the three important things sacrifices austerities and charities are given by shri krishna in this chapter we'll try to follow it and reach us fifth step yeah so all uh, foods in three modes sacrifices in three modes three kinds of austerity austerity in three modes charity in three modes and finally om tat sat all these things are described in this chapter very important chapter yeah so please read it in detail so that you can understand how you need to lead your life yeah and uh, people who are asking for level 2 uh, this is a registration link which we i have shared it on top it has been already shared with you people in uh, whatsapp so bhakti uh, pre bhakti shastri course is there that is three years course with dis uh, disciplined efforts yeah and uh, you uh, you know three to uh, takes you up to three four five i mean level three four five and finally is con bhakti shastri degree level so we have six levels so all the levels are free so pre bhakti shastri course is the next step after this uh, level one yeah so you will have uh, organized a course with attendance weekly assignments or missions will be there and you will have exams after uh, you know a few chapters yes and assignment will be there classes are only weekly yeah whoever wants to take up teaching bhagavad gita you want to preach about krishna and if you want to take initiation initiation means you will not become a sanyasi initiation means even being a grahastha you can take initiation means uh, it's like you take a oath like i'll serve krishna yeah and if you want to become a priest yeah and uh, serving sri krishna then these levels are going to help you a lot yeah and uh, there is another one called bhakti sadachara sadachar course syllabus without assignments and exams recommended for devotees who cannot commit to the submission of assignments and exams due to personal reasons there are two things pre bhakti shastri course or bhakti sadachar course so whichever you feel comfortable please try to join it okay try to join to it and the classes will start immediately uh, and things will be shared with you next week only they might start the class uh, next week in itself because tomorrow is last class actually today should have been our last class because of radha ashtami monday uh, we postponed our class and uh, tomorrow is our last class the chapter number 18 please come with a notebook and a pen i told you yesterday itself we are going to give a score for ourselves and see where we are yeah where we should reach or are we in best position already yeah we'll test ourselves so the last chapter after we will see whether arjuna agreed to whatever krishna said and what he decided how he decided uh, how could krishna influence him to follow this path what he is recommending did he force arjuna to do what krishna like you know whatever he is telling did krishna force arjuna to follow or he told i am telling you you have to do it at any cost now and very important tomorrow uh, you will uh, come to know what is the use of people reading the, this bhagavad gita okay you people are sitting and listening to the class no what you people gained yeah you will come to know tomorrow and i am sitting and telling you people no what i gain yeah 
and whoever takes bhagavad gita you go to level 2 level 4 5 6 means you do serious study of bhagavad gita what such people will gain and people who are not interested in krishna and we tell them to read bhagavad gita is it right or not yeah that also shri krishna tells tomorrow okay so tomorrow is the last chapter hey krishna uh, today yes mataji aishwarya mataji could not join because there is heavy rain in mangalore and in the Eskon Manglo temple where Mataji is staying, they have some issue with the internet, it seems. So, unfortunately, she could not join us. Hare Krishna. That is the reason I told you about the Mayapura Yatra also and level two also. Uh, both I presented on behalf of her. Yes, I think I missed a few questions in the starting. Uh, Arjuna needs to get exam. Yes. But I haven't seen anyone worshipping demon. All either worship demigods or Krishna. Uh, world people have Rajoguna worshipping demigods. What will be their fate then? Rachana Mataji. Demons in the sense as we as Krishna has described, just after the Art Shloka, we described who are demons, isn't it? Some people you see they worship uh, their leader. Yeah. They praise them. Like if I give an example of Ravana, yeah, like that. Yeah, they Hiranyakashipu, like that. They, they respect their king, their leader. Yeah, they are worshipping. You might see they do uh, all Abhishek and also now also you see they have some people, they do Abhishek for them. Yeah, they do puja, they, have, they construct temple for them. You know, these things are happening. Yeah. Whoever has that quality. Yesterday only we discussed uh, Daiva Asura, who have divine nature and who have demonic nature, isn't it? Whoever has those characteristics, who as Krishna explained yesterday, they are demons only. Yeah. To fulfill their wishes. Yeah. Rajoguna people, they want to fulfill their wishes, isn't it? So they will do puja for a person who will help to fulfill their wishes. Most of them, they go to demigods also. Yeah, Whoever goes to demigods uh, expecting to fulfill their results, okay, they are like, they cannot be uh, Rajoguna people, isn't it? Who will go to God first? Who believes in God, isn't it? So they have to be in Sattva Guna. Then only they can go to God. If not, they can't go to God. Yeah. So people who go to demigods are people in Sattva Guna. Yeah, they go, but because they're going to God, they're doing, you, you might have observed, they will tell, God, I'm coming every day to your temple. I'm doing all the puja. I am not happy. These people don't come and see you at all. They're all enjoying. And that is the reason most of them don't go to temple. And now, now it has become a trend. Going to temple, oh my God, it's out of fashion, <laughs> isn't it? That's how things are happening. They tell, going to temple, no way. Yeah. And if some people go to temple also now, most of the places when I go, I don't know, uh, this is only my experience. When I go to temple, I see people doing reels or photos. I don't know what they dance in front of God and take photos and go. You know, they, I don't, they take selfie. They, they would have put, don't take selfie with the God. They'll take selfie with the God and go. That is a, that's the level of bhakti, but they'll reach. They're happy they're reaching till the temple. Yeah. But this is how things are happening. Yeah. Uh, so, Demons are who have the demonic nature. Yeah. Rajoguna people, they want the desire to be filled. Yeah, fulfilled. If they have little sense of God, they won't. Yeah, they won't do it. Chili, chili allowed mother. I told already, I answered for it. Rachana Mataji, since how many years you are in Krishna consciousness? Uh, 2013, 2013. From 2013, I am there in Krishna consciousness. Yeah. Hare Krishna Mataji. Um, what is Spaghetti Monster shown in one of the slides? Mataji, that is like, you know, we just took a, a, a one of the symbol of uh, some organization. We don't want to, you know, have any kind of conflicts. Huh? You might see some of the organizations are there. They they have their own beliefs. Yeah, some believe uh, some believe in some pe uh, people. Some believe in aliens. You know, something like that. 
they have their own uh, school of thoughts you know they have their own symbols uh, there are some like that you can check it out so they have their own symbol for their community also like that yeah nothing uh, in serious uh, mataji in tamoguna which coast they worship is it dangerous to worship coast uh, suchana mataji uh, in tamoguna like uh, in mangalore uh, they have uh, daiva daiva puja they do deva daiva yeah so that is one type uh, considered under it mataji hari krishna i already showed that picture also there yeah some powerful ghost and all else there will be there no some people worship it to gain some power or control some human beings to fulfill their desires and all that also happens that is the viewer side and the dark side of it also yeah but some puja where daivas are involved they are very very powerful they are on the good side and they will help uh, human society to gain what is required for them to have a comfortable life here you know two sides are there. yeah both are there the good side also bad side also yeah some you might have seen they control some uh, powerful ghost you know they do some things which are not good to control someone to hurt someone to spoil a family you know so many things are there yeah both positive and negative both are there but it doesn't mean that it's totally but these things are like you know uh, what all we worship that it's for gaining something yeah gaining something like it's very difficult you see a person go and asking uh, the demigods or a ghost like please give me so that uh, uh, give me a chance so that i can worship shri krishna give me energy so that i can chant yeah give me energy so that i stop drinking yeah i'm start eating non vegetarian food let me follow four regulative principles let me surrender to krishna give me strength have you seen anyone going and asking like that no one asks why we go there main reason is either give me car let me pass exam let me get job let me get good husband let me get a good wife or children or a job for the children health for the children family let me get a car mobile house etc etc this is how we go isn't it yeah so some things are for family some things for yourself something for greed yeah, so many things you yeah. know yes exactly like you pay yes janardan prabhu you then you put little registration fees also <laughs> you know you put little money there see i am giving you now please 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 take care of my uh, request i have applied for you now and if it is not done after some days you go and tell what is this god i prayed for you yeah i put registration fees also it's not fulfilled okay okay you're not satisfied with my offer no worry after you fulfill my uh, wish i will come and give you so many you know or something like i'll break so much coconut or i'll give so much of money in your uh, uh, you know uh, what they tell i'm going to donate so much of money or i'll give some gold i'll give some silver i mean why gods need that they are giving us all those things why you need to give them yeah they're not waiting isn't it and we'll do business with them yeah and if your wish is fulfilled then you will advertise it to others also see see you go there and you tell god you give this that enough there will be a big rush queue there isn't it but uh, humans are with uh, you know list of desires it never ends and demigods are so no you you have no words to describe them they're so sweet that a little bit of bhakti you show to them they will give us the blessings but we are misusing it isn't it we are misusing it so the same time goes whenever you get a chance to go please ask give me a bhakti i want to worship the supreme i'm i'm not able to have faith in god krishna i'm not able to gain the knowledge i don't have time to chant give me an opportunity to do that i want to go out of this material world and have the you know uh, you know the pleasure what the people in krishna's abode have i want to become a devotee in very simple words we don't ask it isn't it we don't ask it right we don't ask it yeah exactly exactly if god doesn't fulfill our wish we'll not worship that god we'll live him 
you didn't fulfill no that god is not good yeah he is not good we'll search for someone else yeah so please material world material worshiping yeah anything you do it's of no use but we need to do yagna yagna chakra if you remember yagna chakra the vedas as given to brahma brahma uh, gives that veda vedic knowledge to all the mankind and the mankind comes to know what is the dharma we need to do means our prescribed duties once we do prescribed duties in that yagna comes up so yagna is the pleasing the demigods yeah so for every yug there is a yagna to be performed in that case kaliyuga taking lord's name it's the yagna so when you chant they will be pleased when they are pleased krishna is the source of everything when krishna is pleased everyone will be pleased yeah if you put water to the roots of the plant every part of the plant will be nurtured very simple it's like no 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 i am not interested i'll put on one leaf only then we are foolish isn't it you need to water to the root so that everything is nourished if you want to like last class someone asked me what about the planets which are not okay in our case yes we will go for temporary solution we'll try to please that planet and you know and try to alter our life to the best position but the controller of all the planets is krishna serve to him if he is happy he will control everything yeah he is the boss yeah he is the supreme personality of godhead isn't it yeah in very simple words he is the boss if we please him there is no need to go and please everyone if someone comes to your home you have a uh, your father yeah you have your mother and you are like four children family etc etc if someone comes and wants to invite what they do they will give card to everyone come to my function come to my function no they'll give to the elder the elder in the house isn't it please you all come together yeah they don't give oh your baby come you also come you are also one in this family take this card also come to our home function no isn't it so krishna is superior if you worship him everyone will be worshiped if you serve him everything will be served very simple that is intelligence yeah worshiping one god is intelligence or worshiping all of them at a time with love and faith is intelligence you think yourself and choose which is the best okay so faith is very very important and faith comes by knowledge so please read bhagavad gita especially for the kids yeah the classes uh, next batch classes also starts for the kids uh, kindly please uh, give them an opportunity to know about what we are what is bhagavad gita kindly give them an opportunity let them know it yeah we are keeping them away from the knowledge itself you give the knowledge to them yeah let them accept it or leave it that is left in krishna's hand what is in our hand just to give the knowledge to them like whether arjuna is going to win the war or he is going to lose lose in the war it was not known for arjuna before getting it but still before that only krishna told arjuna fight do your duty so our duty as elders is to give the knowledge of bhagavad gita to them whether they are going to succeed and follow it or they are going to give up and not follow it it's left to them it's depending upon their karma phala but you need to give them an opportunity isn't it yeah when you see someone suffering you need to help them as much as possible yeah see this is how if you follow suffering will be less yeah so please uh, uh, make an effort to uh, inspire your younger generation to join to the bhagavad gita classes just 18 days uh, we are not making complicated actually when i am speaking i am finding it little difficult because you know uh, we use little words which are very much prescribed in bhagavad gita i mean as we go higher studies no we use the words yeah which have very uh, deep uh, meanings and i want to put it down into simple words i'll be searching for words sometimes before i was feeling it very fluently i used to talk now i like i don't know how to bring down it to the simple words you know as you read it more and more and more what happens you no know, you will understand it more deeply the words the meanings what krishna is telling the translation has you know the depth is you can't express it yeah you need to you know experience it to know it yeah so for kids to understand for them in that level the teachers are 
so well trained and they're highly knowledgeable. They can make them understand easily. So please allow your kids, whether they are your family or friends, anyone to join the classes. And you yourself, if you feel you want to join this 19 days classes again, there are many other uh, uh, teachers taking the classes. Kindly please join any of it at any time you like. For all the languages, there is only one group. I mean, English means one group and uh, other languages, one, one WhatsApp group is there. So you can attend any of the classes. Uh, try to understand to your best. If you want to have even more understand understanding than level two is there, level three, four, five. Gradually, stepwise, you can understand. And that knowledge will help you to be the best example to the society. If you know it and if you follow it, yeah, you need to have the knowledge also and you need to act. Yeah, it's not a one day process. Today you eat and tomorrow you become, you know, elder person. Like you today, your baby, tomorrow you cannot become a young man, isn't it? Yeah, it takes time for us. Every process takes time. Patience, faith, and Guru Ashraya, very important. Yeah, kindly be associated with us. Uh, we'll all be uh, discussing the last chapter tomorrow. And after that, uh, classes are not over. As I already informed you yesterday, we will be meeting for just 10 to 15 minutes uh, class of uh, the holy name, the glories of holy name. I'll be talking to you people and we both, I mean, you and we will be sitting together and chanting. Okay, I'll be chanting with you people. Uh, if you have a chanting bag, well and good, very happy. If you have only the chanting bits, that's also very good. No problem. You can chant with me. You don't have to see, but you have neem beats. That is also fine. Neem beats are also not there. Whatever beats you have in your home, that is also fine. Mataji, we don't have beats also. What to do? No problem. You just come with me. We are going to sit and chant. You can also chant with us. Even if you don't have beats, it's okay. Faith is important. Concentration on that. What you're chanting, you need to hear. That's important. And we'll be sitting and chanting just two runs. Just two runs, okay? And then we are going to disperse from the class and we will meet for just 10 days like this until your level two starts, yeah? And uh, after that morning, uh, six o'clock, uh, five to six, there is chanting classes going on every day. Japa with uh, uh, Nama, Nama Japa, you are doing with Nama, Nama Nishtadasa. Yeah, my Guru Maharaj, uh, you can join with him every day. Even now it's going on. They're chanting morning. You can join with them and chant. But because you should not lose the touch of the classes attending at nine, we want to encourage you to start chanting. Yeah, just telling is not correct. We should also do and show, isn't it? So we will chant together and try to do the yagna, which is prescribed for us in Kali Yoga. Hare Krishna. So you all will join me for chanting from day after tomorrow. Is it possible? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. So wonderful, wonderful. Let's all chant. If nothing is there, no problem. If you want to chant on Tulsi Mala itself, kindly please visit any ISKCON temple. You will get it. Or else you can order ISKCON Mangalore online also. It is there. You can order. It will come to you people. Yeah, very soon. Yeah. If not, also no problem. Just join the class. We can chant. Okay, no restrictions. And ladies, uh, if you have periods also, no issue, you can join, we can chant. Okay, and uh, if you have a situation there, you cannot chant, uh, yeah, uh, like uh, some puja is going on, something extra, some family issues, uh, no worries. Any way you can chant. That is why uh, this Hare Krishna Mahamantra is given for Kali Yoga. There is no, as such, any restrictions. Anyone can chant. Yeah. You can bring your family, family members also. We all can sit together and chant. Okay. Not a restriction that only who attended the class can chant. All are allowed. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for saying yes. Yes. Only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight of them said yes. What about others? Ah, okay. So <laughs> they are coming now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, okay. Yes. So. Yeah, sorry, someone said something. 
ओके पल्लवी माताजी मी टू माताजी ओके देन ओके सो लेट्स फिनिश टुडेस क्लास एंड थैंक यू चैत्र माताजी टुमारो वी विल बी मीटिंग फॉर द लास्ट क्लास ऑन भगवत गीता द लास्ट चैप्टर द 18th चैप्टर द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर या वाई कृष्णा सेड व्हाट ही सेड हाउ ही सेड डिड अर्जुन एक्सेप्ट इट और ही डिड नॉट एक्सेप्ट इट व्हाट इज द मैसेज फॉर अस व्हाट वी शुड डू शुड वी फॉलो अर्जुन स्टेप और शुड वी लिसन टू कृष्णा और नॉट या लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट दैट कंक्लूजन इज टुमारो एंड आई होप आई मीट यू ऑल इन द लास्ट क्लास एंड I mean, again, I'm thanking you people for attending the classes consistently. All are thirty-two, thirty-two, thirty-two from chapter number nine. All are thirty-two, thirty-two, thirty-two. Yeah, all thirty-two are attending. So this is how Krishna. The belief in Krishna increases to me. Why? Because you know, once you know who Krishna is, you cannot leave him. And I experience always that. I told you after this ninth chapter, people will not reduce thirty-two, 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 thirty-two. I'm writing down every day. that it only they did not leave the class i'm really i'm really blessed to see krishna everywhere no that is what uh, most of the devotees experience uh, give your hand to krishna yeah we can see krishna's hand in in every part of your life we can see his hand so when he chooses people to know him he chooses such that they are devoted to him yeah so i'm very happy uh, to be associated with your people we shall all meet tomorrow yeah and know what is in chapter number 18 and then we'll start with the chanting yeah and then go to level 2 yeah to better understand the bhagavad gita and i hope you all ha- have an uh, opportunity to join the mayapur yatra if you need any details please message to us we will share you the details and mayapur uh, yatra details will be again shared in whatsapp group by the admins take this opportunity take your family members your friends together yeah please go there and see everything your faith will increase yeah your love for krishna will increase yeah your path might become you know very clear yeah so the association of devotees is so powerful yeah and the power of that uh, land where chaitanya mahaprabhu is was there and the temple yeah that bliss itself it's it you have to experience it we cannot show it in a picture or explain it to you you need to experience it especially when you go with the devotees uh, you go alone you cannot enjoy it i'm very sure because i have i have seen it myself yeah you need to go with devotees to enjoy it yeah whenever someone tells come we will go alone and come i never go because it's like boring you won't understand anything you should go with devotees they'll tell the stories of that places they will chant they sing that they give delicious prasad yeah it will be very exciting to have such an opportunity so i hope you make use of it and uh, we'll see tomorrow okay वाचाकूपाइ पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम हरे कृष्ण श्रीकृष्ण